This is a comparison video between the small ruby cup, the small lena cup, and the schoon cups in both the small and the large. I'll be going over this seal between the base of the cup and the stem, the stem itself, the shapes of the bodies, and the firmness at the base of the cup. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. This comparison video was requested by Lily Bunny. Thank you for sending in your request. So here are the four cups that you uh, requested originally. Uh, this is the small ruby cup, but since it is a black cup, you won't be able to really see the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the medium size ruby cup. The previous owner had already cut the stem completely off, but you can still see where that seal starts from the inside of the cup. You have a good amount of meat between uh, where the stem would start and the base of the cup. Next would be the Lena cup, and um, there really isn't much of a seal between the base of the cup and that stem. You can see the pen right at the top here. So if you are trimming this stem off of this cup, make sure you leave a little bit of a nub of the stem still intact so you don't cut directly into the cup itself. And the Schoon cup, again, this was already uh, cut off when I received it. So this one doesn't have a huge piece of meat inside, but it does have more than the Lena cup. I'm going to try to do this and hopefully you can see um, it's like they put an extra little bead in there just so that if you do need to take the complete stem off you can um, you can do it safely without cutting into the cup but it's not like you're going to be able to go any shorter than just the very top of this cup or you know um, cutting it and then shaving it flush Next, I'll talk about the stems, and this is the ruby cup. This stem is partially hollow, so I have this, uh, it's a nail tool for dots like this. So if I insert, uh, I can't see, if I insert the dotting tool, you can see that it stops right there. So there is a solid piece of silicone when you get about halfway down this stem. This stem flexes in all directions, and it does have a little bit of a stretch, but not too much. They have little dots on here all the way around, as opposed to the grip rings that we usually see. And they look very pokey, but they're nice and soft. Um, I don't find that they... Uh, chafe me or rub me the wrong way. I suppose if you are sensitive you might have some problems with that. So they kind of just move with my body. Obviously this is a stick style stem and it does stay round all the way around and um, there is a widening or thickening right at the tip of the stem so when you're pulling on it if, even if your fingers do slide some you have that stopper right at the end. Here is the Lena cup stem and it is a stick style or tab style stem and uh, it is flat when you see it on this side but if I turn it you can see that it does uh, get a little bit narrow. So you do have a secure area to pinch down on. It fits uh, in your fingertips or lays flat in your fingertips quite nicely when you go to remove or to retrieve your cup. This stem is a solid piece of silicone. It moves really easy in all directions and it does have a good stretch to it, but it does have resistance right about there. There are four grip rings on this stem and they are pretty pronounced. You can see them really well. These aren't very soft and I have heard um, people have some problems with how pronounced they are. They feel like it chafes them or they can feel it when they walk. Um, and so they end up cutting off the stem. But if you do need really good grip rings, you need that stem, um, this one it gives you a secure hold on it and your fingers don't really slide off of even that first um, grip ring when you're trying to retrieve your cup. 
Here's the spoon cup, and uh, this is a stick style stem. It's cylindrical in shape, but it comes to a point at the tip, and then the four grip rings. This uh, stem is nice and smushy, and it moves in all directions really well. It does pull quite a bit. It has resistance right about there and that could pose a problem for some if your cup is sealed inside of you and you need the stem to wiggle your cup down. It doesn't really want to move. You really have to get up there, pinch the base, and then break the seal to remove the cup. Another problem that I have with this stem is that there is no stopper at the tip. When you pull on the stem, the grip rings kind of mesh into the silicone and your fingers will just slide right off because there's nothing to hold them back. So here are the three cups bodies and uh, the Lena cup and the Schoon cup are more of that bell shaped with the flared style rim. The ruby cup comes to more of a taper at the base of the cup near the stem, uh, rounds off, and then comes to a regular style rim. It also has a very thin band of a secondary rim. Here is my medium ruby cup, and you can see the band of the secondary rim a little better. Both the Lena and the Schoon have a rounded base, but the Lena bows out a little bit more in the body before coming down to the flared rim. The body of the Schoon comes down straight and then goes into a flared rim. So the last thing that Lily Bunny asked about was the firmness of the base of the cup. The base is the area with the grip rings between the body of the cup and the stems. This is the order that it would actually fall in from the softest to the firmest, which is kind of odd because the uh, body of the Lena cup is the firmest of these three cups. However, if you place the sensitive Lena cup in this order, it would be before the ruby cup. Well, there you have it. Uh, the seal of the cup, the stem, the bodies, and the firmness of the base of the cups. I hope I covered what you were looking for, Lily Bunny. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below if you have two or all three of these cups and you find one more comfortable than the other. Or if you found one of the stems easier to use than another. Until I see you next time, take care.